What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Zo. I'm about to check this uh, this trailer out for the EA Sports UFC 3. Um, the uh, teaser came out a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, and now we can check out what they got in store here. And uh, it's, it's looking pretty good for what I saw. Um, looks like they got uh, media days put on there. As long as with the uh, the weigh-ins, so they got some classic matches there. Ronda is still in there. Uh, Holly and uh, Cyborg. Feel like you can hype up your match or whatever. It's looking looking very good. I might be in uh, the career mode. We got Verdum doing the high kick. Yeah, we're like right there. Looks like there's some classic matches, and oh. They just put in the Mighty Mouse arm bar right there. Oh, that is good. Joanna, some J check. Oh. Uh, like you can do some footwork there. You like you do some memorable moments of Connor just winning the, the two title belts. And I love that I love that uh that cover right there. I love that cover. It's looking awesome. So, yeah, uh, from the trailer, man, it looks like pretty good. Uh, looks like we really upgraded um, from the EA Sports UFC 2, uh, especially from the EA Sports UFC, the first one. Um, but, yeah, everything is looking really good. It looks like they added a lot of stuff for career mode. Um, it also looks like they, uh, they hyped it up a little bit um, with, the, uh, with, with hyping up your fight and stuff like that. Uh, with the media day, that's pretty new. We never uh, experienced that before. Um, one of the things that I wish they would have put in the career mode is um, the uh, the the post fight interview uh, when uh, Joe Rogan comes up to the to the to the cage and uh, you know gives his interview right there. And you know you can either call somebody out or you can just say you know everything is good or everything like that. Uh, but Everything is looking good. Uh, everything is 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 on point for right now, and I'm loving it right now. I mean, these UFC games, man, man, it don't even matter uh, when or what they put out. I'm, it's just, they got my money. They got my money. Um, I can't say anything for the other sports uh, installments they have, but with the UFC. Um, they they got my money, but I'm a UFC guy. I, I always watch UFC. I watch all the uh, events as much as I can, and uh, they got my money. But yes, this this game is looking very good. This game is looking um, real nice, crisp. Um, there was a couple things that they showed in the um, in the uh, screenshots that they have on the website. And uh, oh, by the way, they said that you can try to uh, register for the beta as well so whenever you can uh i have the link on on my uh on, on under the thing uh just uh click on that link and you can uh, sign up for the beta as well because uh i'm i signed up because i want to be one of the first ones to see what it is and um and if there's any uh things that we can uh fix or any of the glitches or anything like that, hey, I'd like to figure that out too. So um if you if you're into that, if you're into uh doing betas and stuff like that, yeah. Um go ahead and click that link. It's gonna be in the uh in the um in the bio or the notification, whatever it's called. Um just click on that and uh it's gonna be there. But what I was saying is um you know, basically, I just I, I buy all the UFC games, so I love the progress that is going in. The progress is really good. Um, the undisputed games uh, were very good. Um, I mean, I that's what that's one of the reasons how I got hooked on onto the UFC was playing undisputed, uh, the first one. So to to go from there to where it is to the next gen uh it's it's looking really good it's looking really good and uh like i was saying some of the screenshots wasn't looking pretty good to me um the way that they had uh the michael bisbee screenshot that they had on their website 
was phenomenal. He, the way that he was uh, looking in the uh, when he was weighing in, that looks really good. And he had the thumbs up. That was really good. Oh, and also with the uh, with the media day, I like how they have the suits on, and hopefully you can like you know uh, custom your suits, and you probably be outlandish like uh, Conor McGregor wearing the the, uh, the fur coats and all that. I, I hope they do a lot of stuff with that. I hope they can do some more customization with that. So it's also looking like they're trying to build up fights with this uh, trailer. Um, you know, with the Tony Ferguson, the Conor McGregor. Um, also, it was like a little flash, uh, like a like less than a second flash of um, it was uh, Stipe Miocic uh, versus um, DC. Um, that I mean, that could be a big fight. That that can also be a mode that they also uh, uh, put in there for a uh, champion uh, versus champion mode. Um, and you know, because all the hype is getting two belts and, you know, uh, defending two belts and being that caught in that, in that, in that category and everything like that, maybe they'll say, Hey, he has three belts and all that kind of stuff. I know back in the day, um, with the other UFC, UFC games, um, you can also, you always move up or move down, or if you, of course you're heavyweight, you move down. Yeah, it's it's looking like that's possible. It's looking like they're going to be uh, implementing that, and they're probably going to be glorifying that even more uh, since uh, Conor McGregor actually did it. So, and uh, also what, what when I said like I, I like the, the 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 cover with uh, Conor McGregor with the two belts. That's actually championship mode, um, not championship mode. The champion edition um, on the cover. They're probably going to have Conor McGregor on the regular cover, too, like they did with the uh, Madden uh, when they had Tom Brady on the regular cover and the uh, the GOAT edition was Tom Brady, like, screaming or whatever. But, um, yeah, I think that's probably going to happen. It looks like that's what's going to happen. Um, and who knows what they're going to have for the uh, the, the, uh, the champion uh, edition. Um, of course, they're probably going to throw in, like, more things and... Uh, custom things that you probably can't get into if, you know, unless you have it. Of course, it's going to be like eighty dollars or seventy nine, whatever they call it. And um, the regular game is probably going to be sixty. So um, I don't think I'm going to be uh, spending, you know, eighty dollars for a game. I, I never do, um, even with the uh, Madden and whatever the case may be. So I don't think I'm going to go that way. But Hey, it's a UFC game. It's a, it's a next gen, UF, not a next gen, but it's a next installment of the UFC game, and uh, it's looking like I said, it's looking pretty good. It's looking like they uh, they listen to us, well, to the fans, and you know what we want. But like I said, we're gonna find that out with the beta, and we're gonna find that out more um, with the uh, the finished product coming out in February the second of 2018. I can't wait. I can't wait till it come out. They already got they already got me hooked. Um I'm saving my money right now. And um yeah, I, I can't wait. It's looking really good. And uh kudos to uh the UFC people, EA Sports over there. Um they're doing really good work over there and uh I can't I can't do nothing but praise them. So um but I will if, if if there is some things that are wrong or that I think they could be making better, I will put that on there. But uh, you can also hit me up on my Instagram. I put my Instagram on there, and also my Twitter. I put my Twitter. Um, uh, I put my Twitter handle on there as well, so you can uh, hit me up there. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, uh, the thumbs up. I will I will appreciate that. I mean, I like it, so I'm. You know, I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, uh, if you like it, hit the uh, like button, um, subscribe. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for the watch and uh, peace.